We have to be grateful all the time. All the time. We must realize that we are gifted with our talents. And we need to be able to we need to be able to use that for God's glory. And we have to be generous. So the three T's and the three T's Now, this is very powerful. What do you see here? If you trust someone, can you say that's synonymous to total surrender? If you trusted your spouse, that's why your spouse became your spouse. Because you trusted your spouse. Do you totally surrender to your spouse? In Matthew chapter 19, there is what we call this about marriage. Remember Matthew 19? Uh, a man should leave his mom, mother and father, right? A man should leave his mother and father. And a woman will leave her home. Right? <clears throat> I have counseled some marriages where the man and the woman will marry and then they will continue their relationships with their respective families. That will create problem. That's why in Matthew 19, Jesus says, a man shall leave his mother and father. Have you heard of those mama's boys? Uh, <laughs> and they're married and they're still mama, 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 mama. Uh -oh. You can relate to that. <laughs> you see? And then the woman will leave her home. Why would the woman leave her home? To join the husband, right? Then they will form your family. Matthew 19. Now. The reason I said that is because I want you to understand the meaning of total surrender. Total surrender. Do you totally surrender to the cross of Christ? Do you? Or maybe. Or I'll try. <laughs> I tell you that I'll try thing. <laughs> I'll try means no. Yes. Oh, you want to come? Want to come? I'll try. It means no. Then I'll come. Now, there's the cross of Christ. As long as you surrender to the cross of Christ, you're good. You're fine. You have joy. You have the key. Jesus in me loves. You have the key. Now, if I remove the cross of Christ, what am I left with? What am I left with? So you have two choices. Surrender to Christ and have joy or rust away into oblivion. You know what rust does. If your knees are rusty, what happens to your knees? 
If your brain is rusty, what happens? You got beautiful F grades. Yeah? So that's your choice. You want to trust or you want to rust? I think it's a beautiful, beautiful way. Present. This is something you can share with your families, with anybody. Surrender to Him. Surrender to the cross with that joy. Take Him out. You will rust to death. <clears throat> and then, humility. Again, humility is from the Greek word humus meaning dirt. So the Greek word meaning humus meaning dirt. The question is, when you are humble, does that mean you are dirty? Humans, humus means dirt. You know what humility does? Humility makes makes you humble. Humility makes you warm, not this. Because a lot of people, full of pride, they think, oh, why should I show it to her or to him? He or she should come to me, I will never go there. Hmm. You heard that before? I will never call her or him. Let him or her call me and beg me, so I will talk to him or to her. Pride. <clears throat> In Kentucky they call it fried. <laughs> Tastes good. But this pride is brokenness and selfishness. And what does, what does trust bring? Brings grace. And what does grace bring? I give you, my peace I give to you. And then, look not on our sins. We ask the Lord, we beg the Lord, don't look at our sins. Because when you look at our sins, that's the end of it. So trust, so you don't trust. Total surrender to the cross of Christ. Believe you me, it brings grace. You know what grace is, right? Gifts received at Christ's expense. <laughs> That's what grace is. Gifts received at Christ's expense. That's grace. And that grace brings us joy and peace. Peace that you will never find anywhere else. You think if you move to Bloomfield, you'll have peace? <laughs> okay, maybe North Arlington. Yeah. Where do you want to move to? You think you can have peace? Oh, not be. Yeah, sure. I'm leaving Belleville. I'm going to Nutley so I can have peace. Eh, wrong. You want peace? Surrender. Surrender to the cross in that peace. Okay? Any question? Is it clear?
regard to you, you will not hear any of these anywhere else. Only here. There's a giant walking upstairs. <clears throat> the next question is, why did Jesus have to ascend to heaven? Remember last Sunday is ascension? Why did he have to ascend to heaven? Isn't it simpler if he just continued walking on earth? <laughs> so we can go fly to Israel and still be, Hey Jesus, how are you? So that was you, 2,000 year old Jesus. Why did he have to ascend to heaven? What's the reason? So that? That's a very good point. Yeah. But there's another reason. Did you know that if Jesus did ascend to heaven and still be here walking, roaming around the earth, people might say, Oh, you see, he did really ascend. He's just here. There's no resurrection. Maybe he didn't really die, as the Muslims claim. Do you know that the Muslims claim the most absurd thing I've heard in my life? They claim that when Jesus, after Jesus was arrested, they had him switch with somebody else. So somebody else was crucified in place of Jesus. So Jesus didn't really die. That's, the Muslims claim that. When I heard it, I was laughing, I couldn't hold That's what, the, the, that's what the, the Muslims believe. So they would escape from resurrection. They didn't really resurrect, they didn't die in the first place. You can only resurrect if you die. So why did Jesus ascend to heaven? Absolute point, <clears throat> absolute big point, and that is, so we can also ascend. Well, for us it would be assumption. Right? Like the Blessed Mother. The Blessed Mother did not ascend. She was assumed. She was assumed. Therefore, ascension is a sign of hope. Oh, I erased it, huh? Okay. Ascension is actually our hope. Did you know that Easter doesn't really end until Pentecost? Mm -hmm. You told us. Huh? You told us. Oh yeah, I'm saying it again. <laughs> so Pentecost. That's why Easter is going to end this coming Sunday, when the Holy Spirit descends upon the apostles. It's by the way the birthday of the church. It's the birthday of the church, so it's okay to say Happy Birthday on Sunday. One other time, I will uh, I will talk about speaking in tongues. Because there's a great deal of things to talk about talking in tongues. Is anybody here speaking in tongues? Nobody? You don't? <laughs> yes, you do? Okay, get your paper. We need one more set for you. have extra, it's okay. I just killed many trees, so thank you. <clears throat> this is the tree of various religious groups. You see, the, the bottom one is Judaism. Judaism. That's that's the beginning of it all. Christianity came from Judaism. We realize that. And then Jesus came here. Remember, Jesus was an observing Jew. He was an observing Jew. He would abide by all the laws of the Torah. Now, next, one, holy, 